first of all, I think Jerry Lorenzo's had a bit of a hard time with Fear of God, isn't it? Like, but I'm glad he's stuck with. I'm glad he's stuck with his vision, and has along the way refined it. I think that's probably something that you could really give him credit for, as opposed to maybe like an Amira who have sort of essentially just copied um the work of Eddie Slamane from uh, Saint Laurent and just recycled it and just ran it through a little LA uh, filter and recycled that look again and again and again. But at least with Jerry Lorenzo, you felt like in the beginning, he obviously had influences um, from, Jerry Lorenzo with Fear of God had influences from Rick Owens to Heide Aikerman to maybe Yoji to maybe some undercover stuff, maybe some Vetmar, early Vetmans, or he has some influences there. But over time, he has refined it. He has got, he's kind of refined his image. He's got a bit singular, he's got hyper laser focus for the most part, and really kind of uh, uh, provided a different sort of look when it comes to men's world and the market at the moment. It's quite evident. You can spot a PS, which is probably the, the kind of. Um, the zenith of what any designer wants right without a logo without any crazy branding you can spot a fear of god piece out on the especially on the street if you see someone wearing it from a mile off you know exactly what the cut looks like you know how the shoulders drape you know how the sleeves um, hang you know about the drawstrings you know about the cut on the pants you know about the shape of the t-shirt like all those things are something you can point out just by you know looking at someone walking down the street which i think is definitely something he wouldn't have envisioned in the beginning when he was starting a brand but he's got this amazing opportunity to collab with Zegna um, a luxury Italian fashion house that for the most part you know they're famous for making you know um, crocodile skin crocodile skin outfits that cost like 10 grand right they're like an amazingly opulent luxury brand and he's been able to collab with them and bring their kind of expertise their level of craftsmanship their level of quality and put it through a streetwear sort of like casual fashion lens without it being too basic and without it being too kind of mundane just really nicely done stuff and i think these two images first of all epitomize it right on the right you've got uh, a five panel ballpoint cap with zegna and um, a fear of god written on it and which i think is a great piece because most of these luxury brands i remember the story of when phoebe Philo was at celine and one of the pieces that sold a lot at the Celine store was just the Celine logo t-shirt, but it was never available in the racks. You had to go and ask the sales system to kind of pluck it out from the back room. They were very res resistant. But this is maybe prior to the whole fashion, prior to the whole like street style thing, right? Street style now has turned into a sort of like a logo festival where everyone wants a logo or a brand or some sort of thing. And I think a lot of designers are kind of leaning into it and designing stuff with like, you know, crazy text on the back or distinctive stripes or patterns. But back in the day, people didn't usually do that. And maybe I guess that kind of level of designer, Phoebe Philo, right, is probably thinks it's a cheap way out to kind of just put your logo on a T-shirt because you know the brand has some kind of, you know, relevance or appeal to it. So the T-shirt is elevated immediately just by putting your name on it. Um, but again, it might cheaper the brand. You might want people to kind of buy into the mainline stuff. But I like the idea of kind of taking Zegna, taking whatever they do with their factories, and their manufacturing, and just applying it to a classic, classic menswear item, a ballpoint cap, black, with white text that it can be worn with many different kind of outfits, right? It works really well, very versatile, and the shape is amazing, kind of white text on a black board, on a black, sorry, ballpoint hat. And of course, on the left here, you've got this amazing blazer jacket with a great turtleneck and perfect blue acid wash jeans. So just really, very, very nicely done. Um, so let's look at the entire collection and see what they have here. Let's make it full screen. So again, image one, you've got this sort of blazer with a turtleneck on the right here, tucked into some nice blue jeans. You've got the hat that I mentioned. Um, here on the right, on the left hand side, you've got, it looks like a leather bomber jacket or a leather flight jacket and then on the um, and then next to it too you've got a hoodie which i'm sure that there's a lot of time and attention went to this hoodie i like the fact that there's no drawstrings it's just like some holes on it i'm not sure if they're buttons but the the t-shirt maybe it's terry cloth maybe it's cashmere but it looks very opulent very luxurious and then you've got these high-waisted um sort of pleated pants that look great too and then of course you've got these look at the creasing on these pants on these jeans sorry they look really good. They remind me of like a pair of APCs that you might pick up, right? So um, those look really well done. And then you've got a nice grey uh, knit jumper there with, again, with a leather piece and a nice trench coat, it looks like. So some really key essential wardrobes, wardrobe pieces for, you know, for men. 
So loads of nice pieces there. You've got a nice little short sleeve shirt here. I'm not sure what the name of that of that shirt is on the inside, but I like the addition of these these kind of um, trousers with the waistband up, right? So the waistband coming just above your belly button. I'm not sure what that style is called. It reminds me of like the stuff that um, you'd see maybe a male ballerina wearing, right? So that kind of vibe is very interesting. Let's go again. Put it low. That's what screen. Uh, so you got that. Then you've got this obviously great color. This sort of like sandy, which is I'd, I'd, I'd say it's maybe a trademark fear of God colorway. This sort of like sand brown um, overcoat sort of thing. Great length, you know, something you might see Jerry Lorenzo wear in street style pieces. The branding on the pants is very interesting. They always have these sort of tag just here in the front of the front seam here, just above the crotch, which is a really interesting place to put something. But again, um, the jumper looks really nice. Nice and ribbed jumper. It looks like it's been turned inside out, doesn't it? A little bit, like the inside fluffy. And you've got the Zegna and Fear of God branding there. So everything's either embroidered or screen printed, but just very um, kind of uh, lightly done. All, photograph all photographed by Tommy, Tommy Ton too. So maybe a bit full circle there. Maybe Tommy Ton was the first person to take pictures of, of Jerry. You never know. But I like the idea behind it. And of course, you've got the trench coat here. Another sort of long, I don't know if it's called a trench coat or just a, just a long coat, a long double-breasted coat that really comes across. You've got a nice addition of a pinstripe suit here. You've got again that uh, bomber jacket instead of in leather. You've got the in the jersey material with some nice ribbing here and a nice pair of pants. Again, model here. I love the braids. It's really cool in there. Like that. You've got again the turtleneck and the blazer jacket. Again, some really nice pieces. Some trainer shoes look really cool too. Some stuff has got the backless where you can kind of slip them on as slippers. But yeah, very, very nicely done, man. I love the photography and the casting is really good. Again, a classic t-shirt here with the branding on the left of your left chest pocket. You've got a really nice addition here of this uh, woven belt here, leather belt, kind of tied in cinch here at the front. Very well done. Oof, those jeans are so good. That cut on it. Look at the boots as well. The desert boots are nice. Kind of a, uh, a little twist on the classic Saint Laurent Wyatt. And instead of a, instead of a light, like uh, like color on the sole, they've gone for like a dark brown sole, which is really interesting to see that. Mm, I wonder how that works. I wonder if it's gonna be a revi zip. And of course, you've got the jeans here as well, without without a hem. They're sort of just like a raw edges on them at the bottom, but the cut on them looks fantastic, and especially with that shirt, it's a brilliant look. So again, these are staples that you can wear all year round. Really, you can mix them with any amount of outfits. They're never gonna go old. And then again, this. Um, jacket print sort of like a coat as well looks amazing we've got addition again with that button shirt there very very nicely done man like I'm sure most of it will be a lot of money it's not going to be cheap but this is beautiful and represents Jay Lorenzo and Fear of God's vision really well you know he looks like he's been able to go into Zegna and just do what he does with his brand and use their expertise some of their you know people that work within the pattern cutting team because that leather jacket is beautiful and I don't know what kind of level that is this cow hide or whatever but that looks gorgeous so this is a nice chunky zip as well then again you've got the navy overcoat you've got the dish of this great piece here also very interesting isn't it it's it's essentially like a wow really nice with a hat as well it's essentially like a half button quarter button top with kind of an elongated sleeve it looks like it's been pulled up maybe it can get pulled down a little bit with some nice chunky buttons as well. I love the details on them. Like really, really well they're done. Again, overcoat with the pinstripe trousers and a model hugging Jerry at the end. Thanking him for the fucking crazy bits that he's going to get emailed or faxed or FedEx to him after the shoot's been done. But quick interview with Jerry Lorenzo talking about it. it says here from Hype. He said, what are your thoughts on this collaboration? Um, both in theory and the clothing itself he says I think it's collaboration between Zegna and Fear of God is a match made in heaven it's refreshing to see a Fear of God evolve into something much more sartorial but still retaining Jerry's imprint refined and elegant are two words to best describe this collection the moment I felt the garments during fittings I could see Alessandro's uncanny ability to modernize Italian sartorial craftsmanship and merge seamlessly with Jerry's carefree effortless aesthetic who is speaking to here oh Tommy Ton cool he said how do your opinion the collection changed seeing it for a sign said elevated it's the best word that came to mind upon seeing it first time. Nothing can beat when you have two great minds together, but it's just the resources that the House of Zegna can bring to the table, which is very true, isn't it? I think that's what now you're seeing 
that some of these, especially when you see a Cold War from the beginning to where it is now, you're now, I think Kanye's rants are being vindicated and the idea that without the production, without the manufacturing, without these big houses supporting you, it's very difficult to get yourself to look like the stuff that you're kind of sat alongside with on the rails. You need to have the access to these production teams, to these manufacturing plants in order to have your stuff look like that. It's just a level, it's just a question of contacts. And I'm assuming some of these people have exclusivity deals. They're only allowed to deal with certain amounts, certain brands, certain houses, certain conglomerates, certain conglomerates or port or corporations or holding companies so once you have that investment and you have the contacts to kind of open doors for you suddenly your product is elevated like a cold war the cold war stuff now looks fucking phenomenal compared to how it looked like in the beginning because he didn't have the he didn't have obviously the resources the funds but mostly the access so um it says elevated um nothing can beat when two months come together he said you know first time from the yarns source for the knitwear to the precision of the tailoring it's not buttoned up as maybe some might be concerned working with italian house especially as in tailoring it's just easy and transformative in the moment you put the clothes on awesome what did you want to showcase so the photograph says i wanted to focus on the craft and details primarily i wanted to say uh this was minimalist but it's very thought out and considered i know jerry is very hands-on with every tuck pleat or any gesture of touch it's important that extra set of eyes sees and tries to capture that i'm always grateful for jerry to entrust me to capture the collection in a different perspective but he gives me freedom to capture what i'm feeling this was a beautiful collection and it was hard to stop taking photos because there were so many moments of beauty yeah definitely you can definitely feel that you can definitely feel the love the appreciation between one you know one group i guess Zegna two would appreciate what jerry's doing with fear of god because he's been able to provide uh his kind of modern take on americana luxury streetwear in that kind of sense but with a tailoring aesthetic behind it and Zegna have been able to kind of lead the way from a kind of luxury high luxury point of view of menswear kind of that european uh point of view in menswear and in streetwear sort of way in their own kind of way don't get me wrong so for them coming together it's probably they're learning a lot from him that they can apply to their runway collection so don't be surprised to see a lot of um the notes that they've taken from this apply to the runway collection they present next season and also don't be surprised to see a lot of the stuff that jerry's learned from his time at zegna apply to his stuff that he's going to do in the other seasons too so i think this is a match made in heaven i'm not usually down for the whole fashion and streetwear mixes but sometimes there can be some great synergy behind the two and i think this is a good example of it um any details in the upcoming day we've got to take a look at the, the this will release in september 2020 so in zegna boutique and select stores worldwide so yeah definitely take a look out for that it's a amazing collection i think it looks very very nice or very very nice it's gorgeous actually it looks sublime that hat is going to be everywhere in it oh yeah this is the hat that drake wore isn't it yeah so definitely see that everywhere i think he wore the blue one i'm not sure if that's a sample it's like a bit blue colorway with like a white text so expect to see that everywhere but my my pick so far of course is the overcoat especially the overcoat um in the sort of navy colorway and then of course the jeans and the desert boots those are my those are my picks definitely 100 percent my picks and of course the suit will be you know that'll be a best way to get you know this is probably the only second suit i'll be able to afford uh, in the immediate future so that's definitely one of it but that overcoat there on slide number what's that slide number 17 and the jeans and desert boot combo on there on slide number 12 are my two favorites but definitely recommend you check it out man some beautiful pieces there from fear of god and zegna from hype beast